In this video I'm going to show you how I went in and took a spreadsheet that I downloaded from a grade center in Blackboard and added grades and then I'm going to upload it back into Blackboard. So what I did was I made sure I did not move anything around, I did not change the order of any students names, I did not reorder any columns, nothing. The only thing that I did was I went in and I added a set of grades into this project B and then I went in and I saved the file in the format that they actually downloaded it as. So make sure you keep everything the same. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into Blackboard and upload that file. Alright, so as I go back into Blackboard, I'm going to go into where I had downloaded it to work offline. I'm going to go into Upload and I'm going to browse the computer where I put that file and I put it onto my desktop and here's the file right here and I'm just gonna double click on it to open it up okay now at this point I'm just confirming that yes it is the correct file um, I'm gonna leave it as auto for the delimited and hit submit and when I hit submit it's gonna ask me if I want to confirm what I've updated so I can see here that it's showing me that project B was up updated and here's the grades that I'm actually pulling in from that particular Excel spreadsheet and I'm going to go ahead and submit so now if I check my grade center I will see that project B automatically has the grades set up in it right in here okay so it brought it in and then of course it moved the grades into the total column for my projects but here are the grades that it brought in for me so you can work offline you can put grades in there um, especially if you're working with something my IT lab my math lab my accounting lab anything like that plug the the information in or you could even download their gradebook and copy and paste the count the grades into the columns okay you just have to make sure you keep your columns exactly the same in what you've downloaded from the grade center from blackboard and then when you upload it, it lets you confirm to make sure that the grades that you've added in are the correct grades. So that's how you can go in and upload in a downloaded file that you've created from the Grade Center and Gradebook.